Miss Jarvis. Welcome back. I know my tennis has been down lately, but I'm really happy to be here. But I've been away for a good reason. Oh. I've been visiting our primary schools, saying hello to uh, lots of our friends in our local feeder schools, oh. doing some science with them. So it's uh, nice to say hello to them, but it's a pleasure to be back. Yes, your kids have missed you. So. I've missed them too. That's nice. <laughs> well, um, what's our focus for this week then? I wish I knew, but my attendance has been so poor, I haven't been here. Oh, funny you say that though, because the focus for this week is that we reflect on our attendance and our effort. Oh, just like I did then. Yes, it was amazing. You went, hey, wasn't here. I <laughs> reflected on it. <laughs> All right, so our focus this week, obviously looking at our attendance, looking at our effort is really important because as learners, it's really important to learn the skill to reflect upon what we've done good and what we can improve on next time. So you'll be getting some data um, delivered to you in your Pathways class this week where you can look at your attendance mm -hmm. and you can look at your effort from your previous report and really work out where your areas for growth and mm -hmm. your areas of success have been and set some goals and just go, oh, okay, maybe I need to do this, maybe I need to do that. Why do you think it's really important to be so reflective about these things? I think reflection in general is always really important, but with your attendance and your effort, it can help you just in future. You're always learning every opportunity in the classroom, you're learning. If you're not reflecting on what you've done in the past, how will you know where to put the best step forward in future? Mm -hmm. So reflecting on your effort, on your attendance, maybe, oh, I did have quite a few days off. Was it something I could have maybe come to school with, you know, you could do that next term. Focus yeah. on maybe boosting the attendance first and the effort should hopefully follow. Yeah, they're two really important key areas, but they're really aligned with our rise values nicely. If you're here on time, every time, it really shows that you're ready and committed to learn. And when you're putting in that effort, you'll find that your subjects are easier, your outcomes will improve, and you'll really be able to enjoy that whole high school experience. Definitely. So speaking of enjoying high school experiences, I believe we had some mobile roving reporters this week. Yes, someone you'll definitely recognise. He's a pro. Hopefully I remember him. Was <laughs> it Mr. Collins? That's the one! Oh, I knew you I remember did his it. name. Reflecting uh, is very useful. <laughs> so he's been out and about and he asked some of our wonderful college students what they thought about attendance and effort. Shall we have a look? Definitely. Go to school! Hey boys, can I ask you? Why is it important to attend school? Attending school is important so you get a good education and once you get a job, it's good for life skills. That's awesome. And why do we need to give our best effort? If you do good effort, then you get good grades. That's awesome. And yourself, why do you think so? Um, if you give effort, you get rewarded by in the future. Hey, tell me, what was your attendance like? My attendance is really good, but I'm getting better. Fantastic. And tell me, what, tell me about your effort. How do you think you went? Um, I've tried my best and got the best I could. That's all we ask. Hey, so how do you improve your effort? Um, drinking and eating well and staying healthy and working hard. That's great. Well done. And how can you improve your attendance? Not sleeping in. Not sleeping in. Great answer. You know what? I've been away. Mm. I'm happy to say that uh, Mr. Collins has still got it. You can still get those good answers out of those students. Oh yeah, he's a pro. He's a pro. <laughs> so look, What's going on at PBL this week? Well, PBL, we have our usual cash-in Friday lunch one down at the canteen. As per usual, get those rewards for the good behavior, following those rise values. It's awesome to see you guys come down and have so much pride in how many stamps you yeah. have. And now we might be running low on some of those bigger prizes because yeah. a lot of people are cashing in, which, which is great. great. <laughs> um, but we've still got heaps of super producers. So come down, cash in your 10 stamps, get yourself something for, you know to reward yourself for your week's worth of efforts. It's still worth it. And then hold on for those bigger prizes because they're coming for next term. Mm -hmm. What up, Mr. Carry On? Is he still working his little magic? Oh, he is. Chill Zone is still happening and alive as ever. First 100s down at second break on a Thursday, and that's up at B Block. What kind of stuff do they have at Chill Zone again? Well, if memory serves me correct, we've got a space where we can chill in air condition, play on our mobile phone, hang out, hang out with our friends. We've got uh, computer games. We've got some board games. A lot. All of the things. I'm running out of fingers to count <laughs> yeah. on all the things that you can do in Chill yeah. Zone. It's awesome. I'm so glad we have that. Yeah. So well, it's great to be back. It was so nice having you. Thank you for welcoming me back. It's lovely to be part of the team again. Um, and don't forget, guys, you can always like and subscribe. We've got new videos every Monday with that fresh, piping hot content. Oh. You can watch us on Facebook. You can watch us on YouTube. You can even watch us in Pathways. So don't forget to switch on, tune in, and listen to some of our exciting messages every week. Until next time, see you then.